Hello, today we'll be looking at the first video of a series of videos covering Dragon Bones, a skeletal animation solution. Dragon Bones is an open source free game software, animation software, which mainly is used to create 2D animations for games mostly. So once you've all gone to the main page of Dragon Bones, you can see it on screen now. All you need to do is go to download editor and install it. And once you've got it up and running, you will be seeing this. Now this is the first landing page of when you're running Dragon Bones. What are we gonna be covering in these first few episodes of Dragon Bones? We're gonna keep, keep things quite simple, not covering the advanced stuff, just the basics. In these first two, three episodes, we'll be trying to animate a mechanical arm. This one here the one on the bottom. On top we have a organic arm, on the bottom a mechanical arm, which is made up of three pieces, the arm, the forearm and the hand. So if you look in the description of this video, there will be a link to a zip file you can download, which will have inside you know, the three pieces, the arm, the forearm and the hand, for those who want to follow or later on do this exercise. Now, what we want to do is create a new project. So we hit new project and we choose the option create animation. A new tab, a new little window appears. It has more options. We want the first one. The first one's called amateur template. That's where you actually can create um, skeleton bone systems hierarchies and set up something to be animated later on. So we leave it as it is and hit finish. And we are inside dragon bones. Now, we can see there's a main area, a workspace. On the left, there's a properties panel. On top, uh, there's tabs, menu on top. On the right, top right, there is the scene where, we can, where we're gonna see all the hierarchy what's going on, or the other tab called draw order next to it. We want the scene. And the bottom right, there is the library where we're gonna be adding the art assets. So let's go and add in the art assets. But before we do that, if we look at the main work area, there are two tabs in its top left corner called amateur and animation. One has a little figure draw on it and one has a little running figure. It sort of explains itself. Amateur is the part of the program where you're gonna, we're gonna set up the skeletal system, the bones, the hierarchy, everything to be animated. And once it's done, we move on to the animation tab. You can see it changes and this is where we animate. Let's go back to the amateur part. So this first video, first part of this very easy tutorial will be just setting up the mech arm in here. So file, input assets to library, not to stage straight away. Let's put in the library. Library, and once you've downloaded the art assets, it's these three here. We want to select the mech arm, the mech arm forearm, the mech arm hand, and press open. And if we open the library, there they are sitting in there. Now, let me grab one of them, the arm, and throw it into the scene. There it is. Right away, we can see the icon, the little icon next to the art asset has gone yellow. Yellow means it's being used in the scene. White means it's not being used in. So let's select the other two and move them in. There we go. Already, you can see, whenever I click on one of them, you can see it's in, you know the size of the image and a little widget appears. Is it called a widget? I hope it is. You know, for moving, for scaling, does a bit of everything, which is dangerous. We, want, we only want to move them around, so a good thing is then to lock this in move mode. We can either do it by hitting the move button down here on the bottom, or as we can see there's a shortcut on keyboard. Z is for move, there it is, it's highlighted. X is for rotate, and C is for scale. Let's hit Z, and move. There we go, and let's try to align these three together. We can zoom in by scrolling with the mouse wheel, and if we hit hold down the right mouse button, we can pan around. So I'm gonna try and move this because it's locked in move mode only, find it. But when I set up these images, I made the, the circle, this hole for the forearm smaller than the one on the arm. But I need to have the forearm behind so I can do this. One way is to right click on the forearm, just right click on it and send backwards. Or let me undo that go up here on the top right to the draw order and put things in order. So I want the arm on top, let's move it. Come on arm, 
go on top. There you go. I want the forearm in the middle and the hand on the bottom. Now, let's go back to the scene. Right click anywhere. Okay, good. Now, let's align this exactly. Hold down the right mouse button, pan around, select the hand, and let's move that in place. There you go. So I'm using the right, the right mouse button either to deselect anything or pan around. But when I go to select an asset, I have to use the left mouse button to click it. And while it's in move mode, make sure it's in move, I can move it exactly where I want to. And then right click anywhere, deselect, and then scroll wheel out and look at the whole thing. Yay. We've put the three pieces together. They're aligned nicely. Now is a good time to save the project. We all know software sometimes crash and it's good to save progress every now and then. So file, save project as, or just save project. We give it a name, mech arm, sounds good. I rather um, have it saved in the same folder where I'm working, I like it. And I'm gonna select copy library. Now what that does is it might not make sense to a few people. It's going to create a new folder next to where the project is saved and have all the images of the library saved in there, a copy of them. But you go, I've already got them somewhere I need them. I, I want them. No, that's not right. What happens? You might be using images from all over your computer in different folders. Why not gather them in one spot and have the project nicely organized? That's what it does. So finish. And if I check the folder where it was, there we go. The mech arm, the project is there, and in the same folder, here's the library, a copy of each one. Perfect. So I can take this and this and email them off to someone, a colleague, or someone else who's working, and they can just pick them up right away and say, oh, that's the project, that's the library. All that person needs to do is put them under inside the same folder, and the program automatically knows that these images are associated with that, and it's going to work right away. It helps a lot. Let's go back. Now that we aligned the are the three parts of the mech arm as nicely as we can. Time to add some bones. Now, there's a lot of theory behind the bones and I can go into how hierarchy and everything. We're gonna go straight away and just use the default what Dragon Bones does, which does an auto um, associating bones with assets if they cover each other. Let me show you what this means. We select bones, it's up here. Inside the um, work area on the top, there's a little panel up here. First one is for selection, second one is for posing, Yep, third is for bones, four is for waiting, and then zoom and whatever else. Select bones. Oh, I, there it is, I closed the scene. You can open it up again. Root, yeah. I want to create some bones. We've got scenes here. You saw what happened, I, I closed the scene by mistake. It, it hasn't appeared. I can go to window, scene, and bring it back in again. I need that. Now, I have inside the scene, I have the root, which is this little thing here. This little thing is very helpful, but dangerous. It, everything is connected to it. So if I move it around, everything moves around, everything rotates with it, everything scales with it. We don't want to mess with it. So the best thing to do is go next to the root. There are two little dots. One is for being able to visibility to see it, and one is to interact with it. Let's turn them both off and never mess with that. Let's go back to the scene now. We select bone from up here, create bone. And to create bone, let me do a quick little exercise down here. You, you have to you know, press the left mouse, mouse button, but keep it, hold it down and drag it to draw a bone. Once you've drawn a bone, it's blue. Blue means it's still selected unless you right click somewhere to deselect it. Let me go back again. If you keep it selected, the next bone you do will be part of we attach to it part of its hierarchy and you can see it here bone bone one in the scene so if I select the first bone and move it the other one has to follow it just like your arm your real arm the, the bone up on top which from the shoulder to the elbow and then from the elbow to the wrist is the second one the forearm let's delete these two little fellas um, delete yep zoom in to the arm and draw a bone now on top of the first part, which is the arm. Drag the bones is going to auto detect that this bone, as I draw it, is inside the boundaries of the image called mech arm arm, 
and when I release the left mouse button, it's going to automatically attach that image to that bone and rename the bone to the image. Now, in many cases, we don't want this as animators, but for now, we're going to do this because we're still learning. Now, having the bone still selected, I'm going to keep, I'm going to right click down, but not to deselect, you know, pan and let go. If by mistake, you deselected the bone, don't worry, just go to select mode and select it again. Then pan to the right, no, pan, select the bone again and draw a second one from the elbow to the wrist. Again, make sure. Now you can see what's happening here. Everything's it's becoming a bit of a mess in the scene. We'll cover it soon. Pan a bit further. If again you deselected a bone mistake, select the bone, make sure it's blue, go to bone mode and draw a third one from here, somewhere to the thumb. Make sure it's inside the image. And now this deselect everything. As we can see, automatically, there's a hierarchy here of mech arm, bone, and the image. Then the forearm, the image. So this is where the second little tool up on this panel called pose comes in handy. I select whichever bone I select, There you go. Let me see if it works. So I select this one and hit pose. Yep. So whichever bone you select and hit pose, little controller appears, tiny one, but you can move it around and see what happens. So that works well. Let's go to the second bone. I only want to, now there's a problem here. I'm trying to select the bones and the images have been selected too. Now that they're attached nicely, if I'm, you know, I make sure it is, is a good point to go and go next to each one of the images and close the interactive, so you can't interact with them, but you can see them. Now you can't select the images by mistake, the art assets, only the bones. And we're now just doing a bit of a checkup to see if everything's nicely. You can see here, there's a bit of a bad wobble here because what I did was I didn't align properly the bones to the center. I might have to re do it again from the beginning until I get it right. This is where you have to make sure when you create the assets, you leave proper markers in. I should have had holes and had a little dot in the middle of the image so I can actually align them nicely. But for now it will do. So what we have here nicely done is the bone working well. There, um, there's a nice hierarchy. They've been named well. The assets are attached properly to each one. I'm going to hit save and it's now waiting to be animated. Pretty simple, nothing special. Let's go back to select mode. You can see now what we did. We learned how to import assets, draw some bones in a, in a hierarchy or make sure they are, how to turn on some of the attributes here like interactive, if something's interactive or visible, and then to do a bit of a testing Oh, you know, if each bone is properly working, the hierarchy is working. That's all we need to do for now on this first episode. On the next one, we'll be taking this over to animation. You can see it's over. And we'll start making, we'll do two different animations. We'll do one called idle and one called attack. Okay. So file save project. And I... See you soon on the next episode. Take care.